Subduction zones like Cascadia produce the world's largest magnitude earthquakes. A Cascadia earthquake that ruptures along all 680 miles of the lock zone would be a magnitude 9 earthquake, as big as the one that devastated northeast Japan in March 2011. The largest magnitude earthquakes we need to prepare for are in the Cascadia subduction zone, which runs from Cape Mendocino in Northern California to Vancouver Island in British Columbia. It's 680 miles long. The most recent Cascadia subduction earthquake occurred on January 26, 1700. It generated a tsunami that crossed the Pacific Ocean to damage coastal towns in Japan, where written records date back hundreds of years. Geologists have found evidence that coastal marshes and forests throughout the length of Cascadia were submerged abruptly or covered with layers of sand like those that tsunamis leave. Not once, but at least eight times in the past 5,000 years. Compared to California or even western Washington state, we don't feel earthquakes in Oregon nearly as often. That can give us a false sense of security. Even though the fault is 50 miles from Portland, a magnitude 9 Cascadia earthquake will be powerful enough to damage all of Oregon west of the Cascades. It's true that the strong shaking from a great subduction earthquake will last much longer than that from a smaller, closer earthquake, intensifying damage as structures go through repeated cycles of shaking. The oceanic plate is sinking beneath the North American plate in a process called subduction. Eventually, a fault will give way and slip, attempting to relieve tens to thousands of years of stress in seconds or minutes. Magnitude 9 Cascadia earthquakes have happened every 400 to 600 years on average, but magnitude 8 to 8.6 earthquakes rupturing only the southern part of the subduction zone have happened more frequently. But it's crucial to appreciate that the time periods between earthquakes are irregular, so it's impossible to know exactly when the next Cascadia earthquake will occur. We can't be sure that it won't be tomorrow, and we shouldn't make the mistake of assuming we have decades to prepare. Recognizing the severity of Portland's earthquake hazard can be sobering, but the reality is that if we prepare personally, and if our community invests in safe structures, then we can greatly reduce the impact of these inevitable geologic events. Receive alerts, critical texts, calls, or emails. Sign up at publicalerts.org.